just like a movie set. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lucille Lane's 101. One, two, three, four. <laughs> and she's never been in the spotlight like this before. My goodness, this is professional. A lifetime after serving in the war, it's only in recent years she's begun publicly sharing her experiences. I want them to know that we did our part. I was 19. 19, wow. The same goes for 100-year-old Betty Phipps. Do you think women received the credit they deserve for what they did in the Second World War? No, I don't think so. Am I a rose between two thorns? <laughs> <laughs> when the Second World War required all hands on deck, women took supporting roles in the Army, Navy, and Air Force. Their stories have been far less documented. But filmmaker Eric Brunt wants to change that, recording them while there's still time. As we get to the stage where there's sadly going to be no Second World War veterans left, the female veterans are realizing that it's now more than ever um, that they should share their story. You wore on your sleeve. And that said, I was a coder. Their work was crucial. Lane decoded top secret messages sent from ships in the North Atlantic. Loose lips, sink ships. Betty Bell worked in London, keeping records for the Royal Canadian Air Force, not without danger. She recalls the constant fear of flying bombs known as doodle bugs. And these things would come flying over and you'd have to watch them because once their engine stopped, they would just go zoom, like that. And they had a, a huge, you know, a detonation. And I'd know what a rocket was like, because we had one that killed a couple of our girls, and it was very close to me. Phipps was in London, too, tracking incoming German planes for the British. Well, we were very important, because if we didn't do follow the, the radar, then they wouldn't have been able to shoot the plane down. These three uh, women and countless others working to win the war. This is me at 18, with a fat face. <laughs> it's cute, eh? They may joke now, but all these years later, there's a new mission, to show Canadians the valor of their grandmothers and great-grandmothers. Ashley Burke, CBC News, Ottawa.